Hey Cancer, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. If this is your reading, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. Happy holidays to you. Um, we are approaching January 2022, the new year. Happy new year in advance. Um, it's still early, right? But let's see what's going on in love for Cancer. Okay, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's up? Cancers in love, please. What's going on? All right, what is the challenge that Cancer may be facing with regard to their love life? Cancer, Cancer. Seven of Cups, confusion, right? So there could be a really confusing situation right now in your life. Maybe you're very confused about your feelings for someone. Maybe someone is in this place of confusion about you. Someone here could certainly have options and love other people that they're dealing with, and that is the damn challenge, right? You're confused because you have other people you're dealing with. Right, so I feel like right now the challenge for you is to become more clear, sort through the confusion and the illusions. Okay, three of swords in reverse, Cancer, the judgment, the four cups, and we have this king of pentacles that wanted to come out too. Maybe you're dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, what I'm seeing, Cancer, is that you are overcoming a really difficult ending here. Three of Swords could be in a betrayal, an ending, separation, breakup. Um, you're hurting. You're, there's some kind of emotional pain that you're still healing from, okay? So be easy on yourself, Cancer. Take care of yourself, okay? I feel like there's someone in your life, Cancer, that may have pushed you away for a cuss. Maybe you feel rejected by this person. They're not showing you the love that you would like them to. You want more, okay? And I'm seeing with the judgment, there's something about you making a decision, okay? finally saying enough is enough this is what i want making some kind of big final decision about this connection where there is some confusion and you may feel not good enough not appreciated not loved enough right all right let's see give me the recent past for you cancer the lovers gemini energy the ten of pentacles in reverse with the page of wands in reverse in the past i do feel like there was a really really strong strong connection you have with someone you are building up for something for the future perhaps uh strong soul connection as well i mean the lovers are indicating that there's a spiritual connection here for sure um but it's almost like someone pushed away someone wasn't ready for it maybe this is someone you have a child with with the page of wands there's something about something having to move in a new direction or having to move past something and someone was unwilling to put themselves out there and so it's telling me that Something did not work, you know, it's, it's like someone had to make a decision and someone may have felt, oh, you know, I can't, um, it may have not been strong enough, okay, there's something here, maybe a person uh, didn't feel ready, okay, with the page of wands, they were holding back. There could have been an ending of a marriage here for some of you guys or just a commitment with the ten of pentacles, okay, but someone here made that decision. The Emperor is in reverse for you, Cancer. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Justice card in reverse. The Justice card keeps coming out in my readings. <laughs> what is going on? Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys are noticing that with other tarot readers, but yeah, leave that in comment because Justice card has appeared in like every reading I've done um, the last three, four readings, okay? And I've used like different decks. So with this justice card, it could be a Libra you're dealing with. There could be some injustice that you felt was done to you, right? We're in Venus retrograde. You may feel like they wronged you. You may feel like everything is just confusing, right? It's just, that's probably it, right? The Venus retrograde. Um, what it's telling me, Cancer, there's something about you losing control, losing direction, not being sure of what to do now with regard to a situation. I do feel like you want some kind of security here. That can be very important to you right now with the Nine of Pentacles and versus the King of Pentacles. Your stability, feeling secure, feeling safe. Um, feeling stable with someone and it's like right now with the emperor in the verse there's a lack of direction there's a lack of movement there's a there's no plan on how things are gonna take off in the right direction so yeah there's a situation cancer where someone may have been doing injustice to you, you may feel like that's not right that's not fair they wronged you okay in the foundation cancer Ten of Wands, Page of Cups in the verse, the Seven of Swords in the verse, and why this is all happening is this Five of Cups energy. So one thing I'm seeing, Cancer, is that someone has a lot of regrets 
a lot of um, disappointment in themselves for how they may have came across, things they may have said to you in the past, maybe the way things happen. And I feel like this is someone who really, really, truly wants to apologize, but I almost feel like they don't know how. There could be a lot of burdens they're carrying, emotional baggage they're carrying, and it's like they can't seem to apologize. Now, some of you guys, they tried to apologize, but it wasn't good enough. Why? Well, because the Seven of Swords is here. Someone here was not being fair. Someone was not being trustworthy. They were being sneaky. They may have deliberately went behind your back and did something cancer, foolishness, you know, lied, cheated, deceived you. And therefore, it's like, I'm not going to accept your apology. It doesn't mean anything, you know? Maybe this is someone who's apologized for things and they don't even know what they're apologizing for and therefore it doesn't mean anything to you. Maybe they've apologized over and over and over in the past and it's like, it's just like, what does that even mean? You know, it holds no weight for you. So there's a lot of burdens and I think the burden that I'm seeing here could be the burdens that they created you know so the five of cups is speaking about regrets disappointment in themselves and that could be why the seven of cups is here a lot of confusion as to what are we doing how do you feel about me what are your intentions and I think this is someone here who also could be confused uh, about how you know where they stand with you in the outcome, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse the Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles in reverse there is some hesitation there's some hesitation about offering something. I do feel you could be uh you could be coming into contact with this Nine of Wands energy, someone who's coming in unexpectedly, very quickly. They have a mission. <laughs> there, there is something here your person wants. And I think part of it is letting letting your guards down. They want you to let your guards down. They want to come in. There's a lot of action orientation here with that Knight of Wands energy now let's see confusion right the challenge sort through the confusion maybe this person's coming in to make sense of something let's get some more clarity let's find out cancer cancer in love cancer something rising venus what's going on seven of cups why is the seven of cups here for cancer Nine of Wands with the Knight of Wands in reverse. So the challenge is to maybe for someone to come towards you and, you know, not come in with just that inconsistent energy. Like not come in and then leave out the next day, right? You want someone to work for this. You want someone to put all their all into this, right? If they really desire this, they're going to make it work. They're going to overcome these sacrifices and challenges, Nine of Wands, right? And they're not going to just give up when things get tough. And that's what you guys have been wanting. Right. But there's a lot of confusion as to, you know, maybe your person hasn't done that. And it's like their in and out behavior brings confusion. And that is something you're trying to sort through. Now, give me clarity on this judgment. Some kind of decision that has to be made. Eight of Pentacles in verse with the Six of Cups. So there's some kind of decision regarding a past connection, Cancer, that you're making. Um, it could be a, someone that you've been dealing with for a really long time with the Six of Cups. Someone you have a lot of feelings and emotions for, but I feel like you turned your back on this person because they turned their back on you. Or it's like you didn't desire or, or want the same thing, okay? And so therefore, there could be like a breakup with the Three of Swords. I also feel like this decision that you're making could be you not investing right now because you feel like it won't change anything. Eight of Pentacles in verse. You may not be putting time and energy into this situation right now. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Four of Cups is clarified by the Death card in a Page of Swords. So there was some kind of ending. But we know about endings in tarot. Endings bring forth new beginnings. Death is change, transformation. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio here. There was someone that pushed you away, and I feel like it put an end to that situation. But even though after this, after this ending has happened, both of you are still curious about each other. Both of you are trying to find out more information. Is this over? What are you doing? Are you still interested? There's an investigative energy. Maybe you're checking each other's social media. You want to know if. In fact, you both have truly moved on. So it's like, even though there was some kind of ending, and this could be this ending could be necessary, right? In order for, for things to be looked at in a different way, for some kind of big decision to be made to change uh, the direction which is going. But the death in the Page of Swords, like, again, after the ending, it's like, mm, is this really done? You're trying to find out more information about it from your other person. Or again, it could be some, like, immature communication with the Page of Swords. It could be like, it could be like a one word text, you know, or calling and then hanging up <laughs> or just being very petty with, with, you know, petty arguments as well. Let's see. Give me the recent past energy. Page of Wands in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. So uh, 
is clarified by the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords in verse. So someone here stopped trying. Someone here stopped investing. Someone here stopped desiring the connection. I feel like it left you guys really unhappy. Um, there definitely could have been a family situation here with this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. And I feel someone also got caught. And in the process of getting caught, it's kind of like, you know, someone got caught because they perhaps was making it very obvious that they were interested in something else. There was a lack of desire, a lack of change, a lack of action from this person. Um, they stopped showing up and it made it made sense. It was like, what what is this person going through? What are they doing right behind my back? Seven of Swords. So a lot of you guys, you knew Something was going on because this person made it very obvious, you know? Why is a lover's card? It was a decision that was made. Two of swords in reverse. Yeah, the high priestess in reverse. So, Cancer, you made a decision because what it's telling me is that with the high priestess in reverse, something came out. Something was revealed to you. And it may have not been good news, but whatever this is, whatever came out or was revealed to you, it made you perhaps cut away, cut this connection out. Two of swords in verse, um, there's something about you making a head of heart decision and maybe letting something go, okay? Now, let's see. The justice in the verse, what's this about? Libra energy? The sun in the verse and the ten of pentacles in verse. Now, some of you guys, there is a divorce, okay, on your mind. There's some kind of legal matter, court matter here. And um, there's something about lack of clarity. What's going to happen? What am I going to do, Right? You're panicking. The sun in verse is something about you not seeing something. Um, you're in a really difficult place right now. And that could be why the three of swords in verse, because there's something you're working on cutting ties and letting go for good. All right. Um, let me see what this emperor in the verse. There's a lack of control, lack of direction. Maybe someone here in your life was very controlling as well. Ace of Pentacles in the verse and the Six of Pentacles. There's something about shared resources. Okay. This could be someone here in your life that, yeah, you know, there was some kind of ending, but it's like now, you know, after some kind of missed opportunity here, it's like now you're going to have to work with this person in some way. Some of you guys, it could be, again, a legal matter. You're having to, uh, it could be custody, right? This could be, um, you know, a divorce where you have to figure out, well, how are we going to share our money? What are we going to do with our home, right? Six of Pentacles. Um, there's also energy of how, how is this person or how are you going to invest moving forward? How much are you going to give to this situation, you know? So there's a lot of unknowns with regard to a situation or person in your life after some kind of ending or missed opportunity. Why is the Ten of Wands here? One second. Ten of Wands for your person. The star in the verse and the emperor in the verse. So whoever the emperor is, they're coming up again in the reading, in the foundation. Someone here is burdened by um, something here where they feel, I could have done better, but I didn't. Um, now I don't know what to do. And with the star in the verse, someone is not so optimistic about their abilities to maybe do something. Maybe they feel like it's too late or they're not good enough. Or they're not strong enough. There's too much damage. There's something here where they feel uh, definitely an apology is needed for something here where they did uh, they did something that was very hurtful and untrustworthy. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles and the Justice card. Someone here wants to balance the scales with you they may want to bring justice back to a situation because i feel like they got caught and <laughs> that could be the right thing to do right um the justice card is about making something right the tables could be certainly turning with regard to a situation with someone here um and it's like they're coming slowly towards you maybe coming up with a plan or action on how they can bring stability back to a situation certainly if an apology isn't enough then they, they know they have to actually take action they have to present something this could be an offer this could be money this could be saying hey uh let's work this out here is like a contract here's there's something coming towards you that may bring some kind of balance and justice back to a situation where there wasn't any where there hasn't been in a really long time and the reason this person is doing it is because maybe they're very feeling very guilty for the seven of swords behavior that they did right behind your back they betrayed you why is the five of cups and there's some kind of remorse and guilt yeah, King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles came out. Some of you guys, you're married to this person. You are married to this person. There's some kind of codependent connection that you're in. Maybe you have a child with this person or had a home. But there's, this person is realizing that there's no victory here. There's no victory without you. There's no victory with you in your life. There's something that has not moved forward with them and forward with 
them or for them and therefore they're they're feeling a lot of regret and so they may be cooperating with you there could be an opportunity with this person saying you know what i'm willing to give x y and z i'm willing to extend myself i'm willing to come in with some kind of security commitment offer this could be a commitment for some of you guys but it could be just a something tangible um, and again, it's because they feel really shitty. I mean, <laughs> they feel really bad for something they've done with that five of cups. Now, let's see with this knight of wands. Something coming in very quickly with the knight of wands energy. What's this for cancer? King of wands in verse and the page of cups. Some of you guys is apology. This could be a new offer. This could be like someone that you're dating. Um, Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this could be someone saying, I am sorry for what I did. Will you forgive me? But it also could be a new love offer that you guys have someone coming in for you very quickly. It's going to happen overnight. It's going to happen like, it's going to be like, whoa, you know, all of a sudden they appear out of nowhere. Um, seven of wands in verse, but there's something about, oops, that's not that's that deck. Um, seven of wands in verse, what's this about? Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Some of you, there's an offer of love coming in. This could be certainly a new person, but just but you're not ready. You're not ready. The Ten of Swords is like you've gone through a really difficult ending, and it's almost like you see this offer, but it's like I don't know if I'm ready for it. And there's something about you not fighting for this, not not really being in, it, in the place where you can really honestly say this is what I need right now. So the Ace of Cups is here. So a lot of you guys, you have love coming in, but there's something about you not investing in it just yet. You may need more time to figure things out, to heal. Again, there's an ending. There's something here you're still having to like move past, right? And this could be an ending with someone and a new beginning with someone else, you know? A new love offer that wants to come in. But it's still, I feel like it's still going to be presented to you, okay? But you're just not ready for it just yet. There could be things you're having to work on and, and closing out other past cycles. And the challenge for you guys is the, is the Seven of Cups. Don't make any quick decisions regarding love right now, especially in Venus retrograde, at least not until like January 29th, okay, y'all? I'm serious. Do not. Because there may be things you're not seeing. There's illusions, right? Um, You know, you may see this uh, part of this person and then something could be revealed afterward that you had no idea and so the seven of cups is like yeah place of confusion sorting through the illusions and you know your emotions kind of get the best of you so you know there could be an offer coming in but ace of cups and verse okay it's not something that maybe you should act on just yet cancer that's what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this reading like share comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i upload these readings and i'll check you guys out soon bye